See, for one coin, toss two outputs, head or tail. Such three coins, if you toss two cube, eight outputs will be there. We will get A intersection B as A. So, N of A intersection B is equal to what? Three only. They want you to find P of A or B. A union B means probability of getting spades R means probability of failed in accountancy if he failed in commerce. Welcome to the session, dear students. Today, I'll go ahead with the problems of probability. So now, in three and four markers, we have questions like this. Three coins are tossed simultaneously. State the sample space and mention the events A and B, where A is used to have occurred when an outcome is two heads and a tail. B is said to have occurred when an outcome is two or more heads. So now how many coins are tossed? Three coins are tossed. Sample space. Sample space means what? Set of all the outcomes. When you toss three coins, see for one coin toss two outputs, head or tail. Such three coins if you toss two cube, eight outputs will be there. What are the eight outputs? All three heads or any one tail, head, head, tail or tail, head, tail, tail, head, 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 tail, head or any two tails, head, tail, 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 head, tail, head, tail, tail or all three tails, tail, tail, tail. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 outputs are there. This is the sample space. What is sample space? Set of all possible outcomes. So, now this is the sample space. Now, they define event A. Event A is what? When an outcome is two heads and one tail. Event A, so now you know sample space. What is sample space? All three heads or any one tail. So, just now I wrote, right? So, now all three heads, any one tail, like this, like that. So, now event A. What is event A? They have defined. What is event A? A is, A is used to have occurred when an outcome is two heads and one tail. What is outcome? Two heads and one tail. Two heads, one tail. So, two heads and one tail one tail such output so yeah, two heads one tail h h t t two heads here one tail two heads here one tail so we have three possibilities event a is two heads one tail so last one may be tail or first one may be tail or middle one may be tail so these are the three possible outcomes n of a you got number of elements in a that is the first uh, thing they want you to find Second, B is B is said to occur when uh, B is said to have occurred when an outcome of the experiment is two or more heads. Event B is two or more heads. B is two or more heads. Two or more heads means event E. Just now I wrote sample space. Two or more heads. All three may be heads here. Two, two or more heads means two heads are more than that. All three may be heads or any two may be heads. So we'll write that. So two or more heads. So two heads, one tail. Tail head head. Or head tail head. Two heads. Or more heads. All three heads. This is two or more heads. N of B. Number of elements in B is one, two, three, four. Two or more heads we got. So now what they want, find the probability of A union B. The question is, they want you to find P of A union B. What is meant by P of A union B? You know cardinal number relation. P of A union B is P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. What is P of A? N of A divided by N of S. What is P of B? N of B divided by N of S. What is P of A intersection B? N of A intersection B divided by N of S. So now we'll write all the values. Probability of A means N of A by N of S. So the first we'll write N of A. Number of elements in A. Then number of elements in B. 
then number of elements in a, a intersection b and number of elements in a intersection b number of elements in a 3 number of elements in b in b how many we have 4 a intersection b means common for a and b common for a and b means two or more heads two or more heads and b a is what two or more heads event a is two heads and one tail so a or b we can write both. So, I will write A or B, two heads, one tail. A is two heads, one tail. Two heads, one tail. This is two heads, one tail. Event B, two or more heads. H, H, T, T, H, 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 T, H and H, H, H. Two or more heads. Here, two heads, one tail. So now A intersection B. A intersection B means common for both. Common for both all three. So A only. Here event A is what? What is event A? Two heads and one tail. Two heads, one tail. Two heads, one tail. Two heads, one tail. So therefore, A intersection B is A itself. So number of elements in A intersection B, we will get A intersection B as A. So N of A intersection B is equal to what? Three only. So now this will become 3 by total 8 plus uh, n of b by this n of b is how much 4 by 8 minus 3 by 8 plus 3 by 8 cancel so answer is 4 by 8 then from a well shuffled pack of 52 playing cards two cards are drawn you are drawing two cards at random find the probability that both the cards are spades or see operation is or face cards both are face cards so first define the events event a drawing both spades event b drawing both face cards now i'll go to event a so n of a number of ways of drawing uh, spades is we have 13 spades out 13 out of 13 selecting two is 13 c2 ways and number of ways of selecting face cards is we have 12 face cards so 12 c2 now they want P of A or B. You can see the operation R. So now the question is, they want you to find P of A or B, A union B means probability of getting spades R or face cards. All of you know P of A union B is P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. That is N of A by N of S, N of B by N of S minus n of a intersection b by n of s now total number of ways of sorry total number of ways is n of s is out of 15 cards two cards can be drawn 15 c2 and a intersection b a intersection b number of elements in a intersection b is so we'll have three common cards out of which we have to take c2 so now going ahead so we have uh, N of A, probability of getting spreads 13 C2 divided by uh, 15, 52 C2 plus 12 C2 by 52 C2 minus 3 C2 by 52 C2. You can take 52 C2 common 1 by 52 C2 into 12 C, 13 C2. 13C2 plus 12C2 minus 3C2. Simplify this. 15C2 is 1 by 52 into 51. 2 into 1 goes up. We are 13 into 12 divided by 2 into 1. We are 12 into 11 divided by 2 into 1. Minus 3 into 2 divided by 2 into 1. Now 2 1s are 2. 2s are 4. 2 6 are 12, 1 by 26 into 51, let it be 
Further, you can simplify this. In this, okay, we can't take anything common. So, 1 by 26 into 51 into 78 plus 66 minus 3. 78 plus 66, 78 plus 63. 78, 63. 1. Multiply this or you can leave the end answer. We'll check whether it is divisible. Yeah, that's it. Leave it. 25 into 26 into 51, you multiply and leave it. Or here only you can simplify. This is the logic. Next three cards are drawn at random from a shuffle shuffled pack of 52 playing cards so you are drawing three cards find the probability of getting a queen a king or a queen or a jack a getting a king b getting a queen C getting a jack so now they want P of A and P of B and P of C is what P of A into P of B into P of C they are independent so what is P of A getting a king out of 4 C 1 king can be drawn in 4 C 1 out of this we can draw in 4 C 1 way 1 queen 4 c1 divided by for everything we will have 52 c1 c3 out of 52 cards 3 cards uh, so 1 1 each if you take 52 c1 52 c1 out of 52 cards 3 cards can be drawn in 52 c3 ways so at a time you are drawing one card if you take that this is the event simplify or leave it now in a college 35% of the students failed in accountancy, 25% failed in commerce, 20% failed in both. A student is selected at random, find the probability of he failed in accountancy if he failed in commerce. He failed in commerce if he failed in accountancy. He failed in either. So now event A failed in accountancy. Event B failed in commerce a intersection means failed in both failed in both so now whatever is given we will write it percent probability of failed in accountancy failed in accountancy is what 35 percent 35 out of 100 so favorable by total p of b failed in commerce how many failed in 25 percent failed in common 20 by uh, 25 by 100 both means what p of a intersection b p of a intersection b is in both in both 20 percent 20 by 100 so they wanted to find what how many failed in accountancy if you failed in commerce so first part is failed in probability of failed in failed in accountancy if you failed in commerce failed in accountancy if you failed in commerce failed in commerce it's interesting means they want probability of failed in accountancy means p of a given that if you failed in commerce p of a by b what is this called as conditional probability Probability of A given that B occurred means probability of failed in accountancy if he failed in commerce. So he already failed in commerce. So P of A by B is what? P of A intersection B divided by P of B. Conditional probability. Whatever comes in denominator comes in denominator. So A by B means A intersection B by B. 
formula of conditional probability. Condition is given if you failed in commerce. So now substitute. What is P of A intersection B? N of A intersection B by N of S. What is uh, P of B? N of B by N of S. So in both the cases I can cancel N of S. So what is P of N of A intersection B? Number of elements in A intersection B is uh, probability only they give to. Okay. So we will not cancel. We will they give probability. So directly substitute. So let us substitute the values. So P of A intersection, P of A by B is, I wrote the formula, P of A intersection B divided by P of B. What is P of A intersection B? 20 by 100. By, what is P of B? P of B is 25 by 100. 25 by 100. So by 100, by 100 cancels. 20 by 25. 20 by 25, both are divisible by 5. 5 4 is 5 5 is a. So probability of failed in accountancy if you failed in commerce is this. Now what is the second part? If you failed in commerce, so find the probability that he failed in commerce given that he failed already in accountancy. Means they want P of B failed in commerce given that given that he failed in accountancy. What is P of B by A? P of B intersection A divided by P of A. All of you know. P of B intersection A is same as P of A intersection B divided by what? P of A. So now we will substitute it. So we substitute. So P of B by A is equal to P of A intersection B divided by P of A. And what is P of A intersection B? They have given, if you read the question, they have given P of A intersection B 20 by 100. By 20 by 100, 20 by 100, 20 percent. P of A, P of A failed in accountancy. Failed in accountancy, they have 35 percent. 35 by 100. So I can cancel 100, 100. So answer is 20 divided by 35. Both are divisible. 5, 4 is a 5, 7 is a 4 by 7. I hope all of you understood this. Then he failed in either of the two. Either of the two means failed in accountancy or this. So they want P of A union B. This is the question. So they want either or, either or means what? Union. So now find P of A union B. How to find P of A union B? All of you know the formula. P of A plus B of B minus P of A intersection B. They gave P of A is 35%. P of B is 20, P of B is what? What is P of B given? 25%. 25%. And both is what? 20%. So for everything LCM is same 100. The 25 plus 35. Uh, 35 plus 25 minus 20. That is 50, 60 minus 20, 40. 40 by 100. 0, 0 cancels. 2, 2 is a 2, 5 is a. So 2 by 5. No. So I hope uh, all of you understood the problems what I have discussed. Please sit and revise them. I'll see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.